Kira Kira Hare Mai. Greetings and welcome. I am Guru and we are in Trumbull Valley in the lethal zone with the last one standing and this is the state of play only four play cards down 24 to go this is going to be our next play card target as soon as the sun comes up supplies are reasonably okay we're not about to run out of any resources imminently morale is stable but that's that's not going to last so what i think we'll start with is we'll drive down here and we'll visit the defenders and see whether they've got any good stuff to trade then we might cruise up and around to Jurassic Junction, see what we can find through up to the tenants and see if we can raid this gun store without getting eaten by a feral pack and home. And if all goes well, hopefully we'll get all that done and dusted by daylight. Now in the last episode, which was actually a couple hours of streaming, I nearly died three times, the game went hard out to kill me, but somehow we managed to wriggle out of it. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's what happens when you make a plan. The game decides that you should be doing something different. Where is this person? Oh. Just bring this fellow inside, I think. I'm exhausted. Carol, everyone stay sharp. Get him, guys. Not the tidiest, but pretty cheap. Took an injury from that though. It's no good. It's okay, we'll swap out then. We'll go with Otis. Take it easy until I feel better. Alright, where's our guest? Take care, I guess. I love you too, Florecita. I'm right here. Hi, Burke. Mukama makes zombies ignore you. You bet. Uh-huh. Take care of yourself. Simple up. No, I don't That's think so. I don't think so, but she can come with me anyway. If we do happen to take out a juggernaut, well, then that will between us be between us and the jug. I used Sinklock pretty liberally in my first ever playthrough of Lethal Zone, and to be honest, it got me over the line. I don't tend to use it. Not against play carts anymore at least. Just because it's, um, yeah, having the zombies ignores you kind of here. takes a bit of the edge out of the game. No, I like the game to try and kill me. That's a good way for it to be. So, what have you got to trade? All right. That's actually okay. All right. I do like the idea of a first aid kit. And a hobbyist 911 is a good gun. So we'll grab that. And 40 on that, 40 on the gas can, it's definitely worth it. Ooh, so new infestation. Alright, time. I see my crossbow bolt somewhere. Man, I just walked straight into that uh, infestation. I didn't even see it there. And I believe it has spawned on top of me. Fast enough, though. Well, I actually thought I saw a crossbow bolt on the ground. Perhaps not. 
Now the pistol doesn't have a silencer on it, but that's okay. Let's go do some exploring. If plague hearts were part of God's plan, I'd like to have words with them. Got a can of gas. We've looted most of the easy pickings around the base. And we do need to think about a new base. The play cards seem deadlier than I remember. I think we might get a food rock here if we can park up quietly. This is in the plague zone as well. Good score. We did get a ruck and some seeds. Let's kick on. Ooh. Decent size horde. That horde just saw us. We drove straight through them. Okay. This is a red zone. Couple gas cans. Fill up here. You might just go for a bit of a nosy back down the road to that military outpost. Might get some meds or some ammo, some guns. Let's make this quick, but let's keep it safe. Set to looting. Not sure what we might find in this army medical tent. More light crossbow bolts. Oh, there we go. Get in the kick in the teeth. So that looks like it's looted. Nothing there. But we can go up this billboard and have a look around. Tell you what, I'm pretty nervous about this this area at night. We have a screamer on the uh -huh. loose. Plague hard in sight. Campsites, campsites. Okay, so what does that look like? Okay. Nothing more to see here. Trouble. Got a tartan mart. Sneak in, grab some food, sneak out. You can do that. Let's do this quiet and buy the numbers. This place has been cleaned out of shells and everything. Well, I suppose it was an ex base from Heartland, wasn't it? Is that it? Could be something else to search. Where is it? On the roof, near a screen up. Yeah, this music is, uh, tie my guts and knots. Stay down, stay down. Then we'll head towards the sound. Of course. 
I do remember this from the uh, from our tour. Five pounds, four pounds, faster, more damage, more lethal. Sun's coming up. Loaded way too close to my car for my liking, but. Let's assume he's yelled. Barrel, look out. Of course it is. It's a damn screamer. I wonder if this is what hell feels like. Get in. I think those plague zombies are giving me something really nasty. I bring in all their buddies. Still got away with it. Unharmed. Didn't quite get everything done that I wanted to get done. You have to be careful around freaks like that one. Now it's doing mixed packs. You have feral sea bloaters, juggernauts. Ah, uh, we're off. We're just leaving. It's just nasty around the base. So let's not hang out there. No, sir. We'll bring back that food ruck later. Or we won't. Alright, let's go trade this up. Good to see ya. Trade with Enclave. Can we work a trade? All right. Nice to see you're still kicking. Programming. Worth having. Hey, what's up? Ikibana. Sacrificial. Hey, you. I need a hand with something. Follow me. Right behind you. Let's go, guys. Whoa. Snacks. They're not up to it. Get back to my outpost, top up my fire, get some proper stims, and then we'll be in there like swimwear. Actually. Here we go. Everybody out. Shotty, they will come in handy. This place is just awful. That won't work. Oh, all right. All around now. That was a terrible start. everywhere. I can't really understand what's going on. Oh, no. You guys got this? Hole. 
left the mark. And that was the last one. Back in. Doors open and closing on the own. Faster. Ah, good tackle. Give him that. Just one left. Just one left. Time to reload. All I've got is what's left in this man. Good luck, buddy. This play card is down for the count. Start securing this area for real. Well, we got it done. Get rid of this feral. And the rest should be good. Huh?
sacrifices were made. In war there are always casualties. And we shall search their core. Cool. This load is quite heavy. I do like the lever action shotgun. I do indeed. I keep all that other stuff. There's still the stuff which is inside the heart. So what does that do to this area? Look at that. That's a bit better. Looted infirmary. So, yeah. Let's see what we can get off our poor other dead compatriot. And we'll make that outpost. And we'll start reaping our ill-gotten gains. Too much to carry for long. That's all right. Full up, eh? I wonder if this is what hell feels like. It may have been for those other two. Oh, didn't even see that. Okay, so we have Steady Bird Espresso. Which is what I can make espresso. Not that great at the moment, plus three morale. It's probably not as good as one of these places. Coast is clear. Right in the heart of town. Do it now while the uh, while we've got the boost to morale from the killing the play cart. Outpost prep is finished and we're ready to run. That said, I can see how we might improve if we want. Here's my mace. Good work, mate. You can go back to guard duty. We'll take Fujiko. Ah, what's this? <gasps> Wow, okay, that's a good find. Scorpion, checkmate machine gun with a manageable fire rate and recoil. Not quite a sub machine gun, but offers more powerful than a typical handgun. We do have some 9mm. Three pounds. Welcome to the team. All right, what else we got? Got a professional suppressor on that, so I'm actually going to take that off. That's a darn fine weapon. I will whack that on there for now. Because that will mean I do less damage to my equipment when I'm using it. Okay. We're like scouting and stuff, so... We can go reasonably light. On the equipment. So here's the crazy thing about getting saved out there. The people who rescued me weren't part of the network. Had no idea who I was. Uh, Magnum Ammo, Chris, not my favorite. Good people who saw a man in trouble and came running. We could all learn from their example, don't you think? Oh, I think I've been pretty good for helping people out. There's something up, the, up on the roof, maybe.
<laughs> Indeed. I think I'll take that. Grab all of that. Look at all this stuff. Well, I suppose that makes sense. You'd use all the available space you can. We can speed this up a bit though, so let's do that. I haven't seen one of those before. I think that must be a Trumbull, Trumbull Valley weapon. AKS-74U. Bridging the gap between a submachine gun and an assault rifle, this weapon was issued to Soviet Special Forces, Airborne Infantry and Armour Crews. Weapon's durability, compact size and ease of use combine to make it very attractive to the network, whose agents often operate in remote isolation for extended periods of time. 30 bullets is a decent capacity. It's got some 5.56. It's light. It's not as durable as a crossbow, but nothing is. Tell you what, that scorpion's pretty durable. Yeah. One play card left. Could we see it from here? There That'd we go. be a pretty good place for an outpost. It's a pretty good place for a play card. He has spotted it. That's a full-blown horde. Been down there. Don't know if we actually finished clearing it out or not. Yeah, I think there's still stuff across there that we can get at as well. We might want to set up an outpost here. Yeah, potentially. Definitely more stuff here. Gas can. can find some mollies or fuel bombs, that'd be good. A fuel ruck as well, because we'll turn those into uh oh, cans, great. We'll turn the um the fuel into fuel bombs. Get on swivel. No, I'm gonna check out that yard. That's a lot of stuff. Could be something up there. Uh, 
Uh, nothing there. Something here. And what is it? It is bandage and some cheek boobs. good stuff as well. See what we can find in here. Might have to take the screamer out if we need to knock knock down the door. No more creepers. We're good to go. Sweet. See what we can find and then it'll be back to base. Hey, I suppose it could be worse. Hey, you always need parts. This game just wants me to keep using that crossbow. Tell you what, the repeating crossbow would be would be pretty awesome right now. But I am not complaining. Wow. That's nice. Well, with our materials, we might think about upgrading one of our food outposts so it produces a bit more food, and then we'll almost be self-sufficient. And this whole area in Fairfield is now pretty much free for the picking. So, all that remains is for me to say thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the episode. You can catch me at 6.30 p.m. on Saturdays, streaming the series live until the end. I hope to see you there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Ka kite. Bye for now.